on. Okay. Looking back down the hallway. Pretty dark in here. Back out the kitchen. Most light is the dark hallway. Look back at the kitchen with the curtain pulled. around the kitchen. You probably can't see very much because it's pretty dark. Going for a bike ride. Okay, we'll see how this camera works riding the bike. A lot of trees, so we're going between bright and dark. So we'll see how the camera contrast is. Coping with the different light changes.
say I'll see how this camera works going between bright sunlight uh, and then dark shades. Didn't do too good in the house. Camera seems to be too sensitive for light changes. The bike is riding pretty smooth, so it should be a pretty, pretty stable picture. I start looking around. That's why what I do with these glasses because the camera is so tiny. It's really enhanced. And uh, you get dizzy watching the pictures. What I try and do is use my eyes to look and not, not my head. outdoors but it's not too good for indoors because uh, even when the, I've got the lights on it it's darker than the uh, eye view vista glasses the eye view vista glasses are ideal for indoors Clicking you here is the gears of the bike. I'm going through the different gears to give me a little more resistance in my legs. Usually I do four laps.
it. This is uh, September 26, 2021. Good morning, how you doing? Excellent, you? are good, thank you. going this way because it's downhill a little bit coming back the other way it's it's just a slight incline nothing nothing big but I just do this because there's hardly any traffic on there get out on the other roads uh, too many fast cars Sun. on the street but not as bad as some of these other streets okay this is lap three I just do this two block thing because there's not so much traffic. This area. So you can see sudden changes of sun and shade.
takes me about 20 minutes to do uh, four laps. I don't go very fast. see also is how the trees look as I'm outdoors here. The eye view looks looks pretty good when I go do the same thing. I want to see if the, if the trees are high. The trees are blurry or focus in on them pretty good. Last, last loop, number four. I'm in the sun. Chirping. I don't know if you can hear them or not. Okay, I'm back into the shaded area now. Bits of sun once in a while. How far do you walk? Oh, okay. <laughs> good, good. See if you can see that clear enough. Okay, back to the starting line. In the shade. Good morning. Have a good day.
down that way. This should give you a rough idea how good this Z-Tronics uh, Z-Shades they call it, glasses work. Okay, into the shade again. Little squirrel. from glasses to glasses, how boy the way the well these things work I don't know. They do cost a little bit. Okay. I'm at my driveway. I'm walking a little bit so you can see how much it bounces. Looking straight ahead at the garage. Okay, I'm in the darkness of the garage, so it'll probably be pretty dark in here. I look out uh, across the street to the neighbor's house, see how wide a view I get. I'm panning real slow, but when you look at it in the camera, it's faster. I don't know why. I'm just doing a slow pan on my head. Okay, going back inside and turn off the camera. It's probably pretty dark in here. Back into the kitchen. This is with our artificial lighting on. Just scanning around a little bit. You can see for some reason the, the indoors is just not bright enough. This is a little more brighter. So I'm turning off the camera. This is the Z-Tronics uh, Z-Shades uh, glasses. <laughs> 